Okay then guys, Helldivers 2 is not and will not slow down at all. There seems to be a lot of things going on inside of this game on a consistent level and it's actually insane to know exactly how this one actually pans out. There is a few things we've got including some new custom wear that you guys are going to want to get your hands on. We do have a little bit of a leak later on in the game plus some stories that we know you guys absolutely love. So with that being said if you haven't already smashed that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the platform for all your favorite games for Origin, Steam, Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, all up to 70% off. They're completely digital games and they're instant delivery 24-7. So it's really easy. It's completely safe and legal. They purchase in bulk from the developers and then sell it in cheap to you. You can't complain. Link in the description to get involved with that one. But nonetheless, let's get on in to what we've got going on inside of Helldivers 2. Starting off, we have a post coming up from the Helldivers 2 team at Arrowhead stating presidential decree. The president of Super Earth has officially recognized this day as Malevolent Creek Memorial Day. This week, in remembrance, all Helldivers will be issued a special commemorative cape so they may carry the memory of their fallen companions into battle. And I love this, and it's called the Fallen Heroes Vengeance. This thing looks absolutely awesome, although if I'm being completely honest, I'm getting a little bored of the color palette i'm sorry i know this one's really special and it looks really really cool but can we just switch up the color palettes a little bit i want to match i want a bloody match but this is pretty damn cool and you guys will start receiving this as of today it hasn't come through to myself yet although they do state that this week in remembrance they're going to be sending this stuff out so don't panic if you haven't got it right now obviously you'll be able to submit a ticket later on if you still not got it in a week's time but that's a completely different story we'll approach that when it comes but as of right now you're just gonna have to hold on to the ball and wait for this cape to actually come through but it does look pretty cool and there is a lot going through to it next up though there is obviously some talk on the most recent patch update that happened just yesterday as we've also had another patch today to try and adjust the crashes there has been a load of stuff that people are talking about. Now, the anti-material rifle, this was one that was a conversation hit on Reddit. Now, this has only just been hit and a few people are agreeing already, but the damage buff to the anti-material rifle makes the railgun nerfs even more silly. Now, I want your guys' opinions on this, and we're going to go through what he states and see what your guys' opinions are on the outcome. But it states here, the 30% buff to the AMR allows it to one-shot devastators to the midsection. This was the last niche of the railgun, the precision weapon with a charge meter that raises as quickly as a generic staircase lift, has now been fully outcasted by fast-firing semi-automatic weapon with twice the ammo and capacity. With every balance change in every content edition the railgun keeps getting outcasted as every front it's almost like the nerf was a knee-jerk reaction to it being one of the only good options in the ocean of suck no nerf only buff it's a isn't a perfect philosophy for every game but it's one that keeps being proven right for this stuff stuff keeps getting massively buffed at making basically any nerf seem silly in retrospect and for the odd people who insist that the railgun hasn't been nerfed if you just switch to unsafe mode i have three simple questions that, that you won't be able to answer did the dps of the weapon go down when firing below a 90 percent charge what charge percent does unsafe mode begin and is a dps dps decrease a nerf this is a solid one and i think this is one that's going to have a split split community difference on it so that's why i wanted to put it into the video and get your guys opinions because i think that actually he may have a little bit of a point in the basis that the railgun was the only valid option and now we've got so much going on with the eat and the quasar cannons and stuff like that we've now got that amr becoming just absolutely ridiculous you may as well put the railgun back up to its general standard obviously there is a talk that it's not been nerfed at all and actually if you just use it in unsafe mode you'll have the effects so on and so forth so i want to know what your guys opinions are so get into the comment section and let's get talking about it now before we talk about a brand new weapon coming to the game and a funny story with nearly 10,000 upvotes on the reddit we are doing a giveaway in today's video if you guys haven't got involved already now is the time to we're giving away a copy of helldivers 2 and if you've already got the game don't worry we're going to give you guys the money equivalent in super credits 
So with that being said, all you have to do is head down to the comment section and pop in a simple green heart. Let's get the green hearts going down in there. Why a green heart? Just because I like the color green at the moment and I'm kind of wanting some different palettes in my armor and capes. Don't know if I've mentioned that yet. I feel like I may. But yeah, green heart in the comment section down below and it will enter you in. We'll announce the winner this weekend on the community page and in the Discord, which is nearly 10,000 people strong. So if you're not involved in it, then why the hell not? We've got all the announcements coming from Arrowhead directly into the Discord themselves. So make sure you stay tuned to it via the link in the description. Now, let's move on into this story that involves a guy who's just been kicked. Yep, it's hilarious. 10,000 upvotes nearly, and it states, To the host who just kicked me. You dropped us next to a jammer. Not your fault. You didn't know. One by one, everyone on the team dies besides me. You keep mashing the reinforce button. We kept telling you we were jammed. I finished off the big boys and started up the terminal to shut down the jammer and reinforce all of you. You kept screaming for me to reinforce you despite the knowing jamming before I could finish the unjamming process, you kicked me. You're an idiot and an enemy of democracy. I think that there is some differentiations inside of these and some people obviously are not paying too much attention. I actually know a lot of people that play with no sound. I know. A little bit crazy at points, but I do know some people that do that with their certain life choices and stuff like that. They have to have their visuals and their hearing available at all times. And to be fair, that's a fair point. But nonetheless, you should be staying a little bit vigilant to what's going on inside of games. And if you are not happy with the way that some people are playing, then just block them outright. And hopefully you shouldn't have a list of people that are essentially causing some troublesomes. Also on top of that, don't just kick people for stupid reasons. Kick people for being douchebags. It's literally that simple. Just kick them for being douchebags. Now, we are moving into leak territory right now. So, I'm going to give you guys your pre-warning. You, your three-second timer is about to start to come off of the video if you don't want it to be spoiled. Because this one, this one is a freaking good one. But, nonetheless, we're going to get into it. Your three seconds are now completely up. That's right. We're going to dive on in. So, we had Gamer Clay tweet us on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it at this point saying, new Airboss rocket launcher looks perfect. Now, he sent me the stratagem coding for the Airboss rocket launcher and then next to it was a video clip that looks so damn incredible. Now, this is one of those dual combination weapons though. So, you will have the one in it to standardize and then you will have a backpack which somebody else will hold and load your RPG for you. This thing does do a massive whack to the system as you can see what it's doing to a load of shriekers in the clip it is pretty damn nutty but it does look pretty damn cool all the same for me this is going to be a must-have when going into the old terminated sectors because those shriekers just do my freaking head and i don't know about you but i can't be bloody bothered with them anymore they've only been here five minutes and they're already driving me up the bloody wall but nonetheless you guys can take these things out very very quickly with this right here so Make sure you stay tuned because the moment this thing drops, you guys already know it's going to be bloody impressive. Now, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for today. I just want to say a massive thank you guys for being involved in this journey with me. We've sped over 100,000 subscribers and you guys have just not slowed down at all. So I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support and the love that you've shown to the channel and to my work ethic and stuff like that as well. You guys are just so kind with your words in the comment section. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With that being said, though, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds. Mm -hmm.